Welcome to Gord Field here in Detroit Rock City, home of the Motor City Maniacs. I see the Maniac fans are trying to get the fire wave going, <laughs> but so far just a small number of fires and mostly just on the upper deck. Yeah, they really stepped up security, Grim. In the men's room earlier, I only witnessed three random assaults and two of them were on me. <laughs> Not bad for gang day. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the NFL. The team stormed the field. The Purple Mutant Eaters go up against the Motor City Maniacs. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see anything too fast. <laughs> And MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pink flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but uh, the monsoon mudslide to be done. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been like, oh. I've been literally cramping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. The defenders want to get into brick shit out. And he goes to the races. Look at this little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. And they line up for the extra point. for that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. First and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. QB's gonna have 
more interceptions than completion. You have a bottle of hot sauce shoved up your ass? Quite the description of that painful hit, Junior. Huh? No, no, it's a question here on this online dating profile. It doesn't say if on purpose or by accident. Yeah, I'll leave it blank. And it's first and ten. And he just run and they run it for a couple of yards. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. One yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. Come on! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Oh, mama! Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. First and two. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room the kick is good well, as expected those are pretty much just gimmies here comes the kicker oh, i can't wait to hear this what's the kicker grim uh, this guy in the field oh i thought you were gonna tell me a story like here's the kicker when i turned on the light it wasn't a problem you can't keep a good mutant down First and ten. The defense has the receivers covered well. That's a three-yard gain on that pass. Second down and seven. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know. Oh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. The ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted. 
convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. He's right at home here taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swipe the money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that? And it's first and ten. They run it for a yard. Second down and nine. Oh man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. He's at the 40. The 30. Close, but no cigar. The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. Yeah, lucky to have survived so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. And it's first and ten. In a fight between King Kong and Godzilla, the player on any stake with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. down and long. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a car wasn't home. First and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect him to... Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And it's first and ten. Seven yards on the catch, nicely done. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. Second and three. The defender says, I don't think so. down and three. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. Oh my god, a man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second down and seven.
Third down and the punter is warming up. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy. The drive was stalled and here comes the field goal attempt. It's good. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. <laughs> I know, I hate those zebra men. <laughs> there's no reason to go. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. Nice catch. And he oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. The defensive players go berserk. They've been known to rip the hips off of enemy players. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. was good for 10 yards. Second down the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and 10. The way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Me. The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Second down in a very lot. The defender says, I don't think so. Third down and, well, good luck. That ball was almost intercepted. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. Cheered. It's good to be good, huh? I mean, can we all just not this shit again? Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. And he just popped his eyes into the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting. Or dead. <laughs> 
second down and more than the QB would like. Looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty trick. It's a whole lot of player right there. Third down and forever. Oh no, it's a sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know why. I'm at. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77. To oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby Blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. First down and three. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second and three. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. And it's 
first and ten. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't let you finish pass for me. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mucus on the defensive line. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. Was totally uncalled for and that's why we love the MFL <laughs> the offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit yeah but on the bright side win they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore uh, a few looks expensive that is Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. The kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. And these guys are neck and neck to begin the third quarter. You talking about that two Siamese twins playing opposing tackles? Yeah, they're putting on a hell of a show. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. is important. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. 
First down of seven. He's like a monkey, and he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! Second down and five. Oh, what a punishing hit that was! And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third down and five. And he's running like a moose right now. The offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham and sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab He's sick when he should have zagged and ends up a shish kebab. A touchdown saving tackle. Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. It's another turnover for the defense. Well, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. And it's first and ten. The QB's going to have more interceptions than completions. His cleats are caked in blood and go. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And it's first and ten. secondary for you're paying for the pick six for this you just give them a pat on the head and tell them they don't suck second down and ten hey kids do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses i do join the mfl and try roid rage and have your revenge oh now the offense is getting kills uh, this is a really violent game guys is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Oh, oh. Oh. The defense puts one over on the quarterback with a 
sticky ball, dirty trick. The only thing the QB can... The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Shit house. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like the Motor City Maniacs get their butts whipped and lose by forfeit. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Oh, that personality disorder has a name. It's called auto Trumpism. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.